Yo, guys, Urban Bars brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop, and urban music from all around the world. Guys, here at Urban Bars, we've been covering our man Sidhu Musiala for the last few days. And we are counting down to the two year anniversary of his unfortunate passing, people. And we are keeping Sidhu alive in all of our hearts and all of our minds because legends never die. And the way to keep legends in our hearts is to play their music and to wonder at how marvellous they were, people, and they still are. So, guys, this is a track that I think I've heard before. It's called BMW. I think it's black and white. You've got subtitles as well, people. So, Let's check it out. Yeah. Black and white shit. So the one say all that. Mistake. Hey yo. The kid. Nasty to go to mafia. The tanky change your hunt and a Street code of the mafia never changes. Oh murder people. Oh murder. And that means. You don't talk. You know it, you know it, you know it. So the most ill. Most take, most take, most take. Hey yo, the kid. Nasty cold mafia, the tangy change a hundane. Jagate has half an hour and get change a hundane. Oji hot the bandana sit and the change a carte. Bitch has a punk at the malanga change a hundane. So name check Nipsey Hustle, rest in peace. And you all know that my man loves the G Wagon. Oh my goodness. Racks are in the middle. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's interesting. I think the first track that our man ever did was G Wagon, wasn't it? In Canada. But here, our man's SMW saying, living like white boys in the village. And in Canada, like blacks. And I think that means like in the village, they're living like rich, rich people. But in Canada, <laughs> it ain't quite as well, ain't quite as big people. But I might have got that twister. So people, let me know down here in the comment section, what does our man SMW actually mean by living like white boys in the village and in Canada, like blacks? Because I'm thinking that they're living... Plenty in the village people, but not so good. It's like they're living in the projects in Canada, people. Let me know. I love that. So I'm hearing that in so many of Sidhu Musiala's songs all around the world. Jats have raised their flag. And people have told me that Jat to the Punjabi is very similar to possibly what the N word is to what a lot of the street people are saying, people. But also the actual real meaning of Jat is something to do with farmer, etc. I'm sure it's farmer, they said. But if you consider yourself a Jat, you're a real G people. You're real, you know. So if you're in the States, you call yourself an N. You say, that's my N, that's my whatever. Guys, I don't swear on my channel, so I ain't going to swear now. But I'm beginning to understand why Sidham C. Arla called himself the Jat. That just means he's real, you know. I'm just going to wheel it back a little bit. And it's, I love this. I don't even know what you call it. Is this, is this a video? Is this a visualizer? 
what is it i just love the way they've they've designed this so you see the wheels spinning on this g-wagon here people and it looks like there's a lot of movement going on so it's it's almost like a rolling shot that just goes on every few seconds it's amazing <laughs> I think he said stamping visas for their enemies to hell. So they're literally checking them out. You know, you want to check someone in, but then sometimes you have to check them out as well. Wow, the tag of undefeated on our Stamping visas for enemies to hell. <laughs> wow. I don't think they'll be talking much after they get their visa stamped, people. Mm, so he's saying gang life is hard people there are ups and there are certainly lots of downs in gang life people they're living life like jacks wow and i just really love the tune itself it's so ambient in some areas people i just love it i don't even know what the sound is is it a xylophone glockenspiel sort of sound that's going on as well but it really fits this. It's such an open track. And Sidhu's singing from the heart, people. This is a real song. song. So they choose you with the guns they use. They got the 45. Is it like a Colt 45? I don't know. Or do they choose the Uzi? Depends. I suppose they've got a different weapon for a different enemy. Depends how they want to take people out. I don't know. So stuff's been going down in Surrey. BC, is that British Columbia? BC, British Columbia. Although we've got Surrey here in the UK as well. So our man Sid has been saying there's been discord since the 1980s. Is it British Columbia in Canada? I've got to check that out, people. That was interesting because he said everyone lives and dies. What was the name? <laughs> 
but valiant men have a different life path written for them i get it so yes everyone is going to live and die but if you've got something to say something to do your life path will be mapped slightly differently there'll be a lot of peaks and trials <laughs> Musiala Jack writes the truth. So you're a valiant man. You've got a different path put out for you. But I think, because when I first started this, I said this is black and white. But I don't think it just means the colour black and white. But I think this song is about black and white as well. Because, you know, some people say some things are black and white. So they're either right or they're wrong, which is black or white. Whereas a lot of people say most of life, there's grey in between. There's a grey area where something may not be quite right and it may not be quite wrong either. So there's an area in between. So is this what Sidhu's saying as well? That right and wrong? And it's not been, we're not just talking about the colour of black and white, but also about justice and what is right and what is wrong. This is what I'm beginning to think, people. Because he now says, Musiala Jack writes the truth. Guys, I'm going to wheel this back a bit. So and it's interesting to say that there's been trouble going on since the 80s in British Columbia and Canada. So I'm not sure how long Sidhu was in Canada for. I don't know if he just went there to study and stayed there, etc. And then went back home from time to time. I don't know all the ins and outs 100%. But it's interesting to say that he knows a lot of the backstory that's been going on there. So for 40 odd years, there's been trouble, people. It's not a new thing, he was saying. This black and white is not a new thing, people. It's been going on since the 80s. <laughs> So, Sidhu saying that, now, what did he say? So, living like white boys in the village and in Canada like blacks. So could it be even more than just living like, I don't know, a decent lifestyle in the village? But it could be even like, you know, when we see the cowboy westerns, the cowboys who ride in with the white hat are the good people, are the good boys, people, whatever you want to call it. And the cowboys who had the black hats were the baddies. So is he saying like living like the hero and the villain? So if you're living in the village like white boys, are you living like heroes? But in Canada, you're rolling around in the black. So are you the villains? Guys, let me know in the comment section, because I think this is more than just we're talking people's colour. I think he's talking about people's attitudes and the attitudes of others as well. So, for instance, they're saying good and bad hero villain. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section, people, because I'm, I'm beginning to think it's that way, but I don't know. Maybe I've got things twisted, but let me know in the comments section. इस विच भी कोई शक नहीं कि पंजाबियों ने कनाडा विच आके आंतक मेहनत सदका पुलंदियां नुस छुएया है पर असी गैंग के दिव्यता विच भी पीछे नहीं रहे लोर मैन लैंड विच चल रही मज मैं सी दिस सो पंजाबीज हैव वर्क्ड हार्ड टू गेट ऑन इन लाइफ बट दे सेइंग देयर्स नो डाउट दैट देयर्स बीन सम गैंग इश्यूज सो द करंट गैंग वॉर ऑन द लोअर मेन लैंड इज बिटवीन ग्रूल्स कैंग्स डालीवाल्स Sidhus and Sandhus. Ah, and someone said that these are all the surnames. So these are families and extended families. 
So you've got Sidhu, Sandhus. I've heard of Sidhus, I've heard of Sandhus. Deliwals, is that it? Kangs and Gruels. Wow, I didn't know this. So obviously there's families, big families that are involved in this or related. I don't know people. Let me know in the comments section. Wow. Wow. So that was from the Moose Tape people. That was B&W. And that was incredible because that was an absolute pure song here from our man Sidi Musiala. Wow. B&W from the Moose Tape. Wow. I'm sure I saw that in the summer, but because I didn't have any lyrics or anything, I was just thinking about the music itself, the musicality of it. But to actually think about the message that Sidim Siala was saying there. So it's really interesting. I'd like to get to the bottom of this. So in the villages, they live in like white. But in Canada, or well, the projects and places in Canada, they live in like black. So is it good versus evil, hero versus villain? color against color. I don't know people but it's a really interesting take for Sidi Musiala to sing about and also he's also letting people know about the state of the Jat, the state of how the Punjabis are have been treated and where they are and where they're coming from so it's really interesting how he's digging deep into his family the family tree what's going on both at home and abroad and to actually alert people to there's been trouble at home there's trouble abroad and it's it's not a new thing people it's been going on since before he was born wow 40 odd years in british columbia wow i didn't know that at all so that is a really interesting take and he was saying that yeah you get born and you die but it's only the ones who are prepared to step out of the shadows to actually do something who are going to have a really interesting life people interesting interesting guys i really enjoyed that and Sidhu's voice was amazing amazing you could really feel that he meant every single word he was singing there that was just incredible and i think that i don't know who did the production was it the kid i think they said the kid at the start i might be wrong there but he really left it really open for Sidhu to actually really just sing his heart out, people. It was a really kind of almost, I have to say like ambient. There's a lot of ambience, ambience in that mix, people. But it was really open, really open to allow Sidhu to really get his point across, people. So I think it's a really serious song for Sidhu to sing. But I really enjoyed that, guys. And we're going to be checking out more Sidhu Siala songs between now and the 29th of may people we'll be checking out i'm going to try and get a song a day at least if i can but guys that was great let me know what you think in the comment section people so i'm beginning to understand a lot more i'm understanding about why city was always mentioned about the jack so as we go along i'm picking things up people i may be slow but i'll get there in the end but guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you please give me a like please subscribe to my channel here at urban bars and guys Make sure you look after yourselves, you look after each other, and more importantly than all of that, guys, make sure you listen to more Sidim Siala songs here on my channel, here at Urban Bars, and make certain and make sure to come back to the next Urban Bars reaction, guys.